the principles of delegation. You all know that you cannot do everything. Nobody can do everything. The good manager should know how to delegate. As a matter of fact, the principle should be to avoid being overwhelmed and being ineffective and inefficient is to put a sign on your desk that says, put your first name. Let's say that your name is Michael. Michael does only what only Michael can do, which means somebody else can do it, don't do it. Otherwise, if you are the best in everything, you will do everything and you will fail in everything. The idea is that you do only what only you can do. You're indispensable. And the rest of it, delegate. Now, how do you delegate? How do you effectively delegate? Because often what happens, we delegate and it doesn't get done the way we want and then we get upset and then we don't delegate anymore. We got disillusioned with the people we are delegating to. Big problem. Effective delegation must have four imperatives. If any of the imperatives is missing, it's bad delegation. It's not going to work. You'll be disillusioned. You'll be disappointed. What are those four? Actually, it's eight, but it's four with a negative of the four. Let me explain. What to do? You have to tell them what you expect them to do. How you expect it to be done. Whether it's a budget, whether it's in writing, whether it is... What, what is a how? By when do you expect it to be done? And who exactly do you expect to be responsible that it gets done? Unless these four are missing, it's not going to work. Why? You tell them what to do, but they implemented it the way they understand it. It's like with children. You tell them what to do, but the time they do it, you say, oh my God, what did they do? The how is sometimes more important than the what, because you can undermine the whole what you're doing by badly implementing it. By when? Timing is very important. If you miss the timing, the whole thing is not worth it anymore. If it's premature, it's not worth it. Who? Extremely important. You might give it to the wrong person, incapable person. That's why it didn't work out. So you have to choose the right person to delegate to what to do, how to do it, by when to do it. Not good enough. Because you don't know what to do till you know what not to do. How many times you tell people what to do, they do it, and you say, oh, my God. So you have to tell them what to do, how to do it, by when and when. But then you don't know what not to do because there is no end to human ignorance and stupidity. So you cannot imagine all what not to do. So what now what do you do? You need to monitor the people you delegate to. You need to monitor because they might be going somewhere else. And then you say, no, 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 no. That's what I expect you to do. No, 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 no. It's called micromanagement. It isn't. It's a learning process. They're learning what your expectations are, and you learn what their capabilities are. Eventually, you will have less and less what not to do, how not to do, by when not to do, who should not do it. You really have a good delegation when you have all the eight expressed and known. Thank you very much.